Okay, so these days on canals, um, there's a lot of chop worm fishing done uh, for mainly down the middle for big perch, bonus fish. It's just more and more of that sort of thing happening on canals these days. It's it's quite a big a big trend really in the last few years. So um, just want to go through a few things that I think you know probably give me a little bit of an edge sometimes in matches um, in, in terms of feeding. Um, there's a couple of ways that I do things, but mainly you're chopping up lobworms, okay, to begin with. So I'll probably put that amount in. So there's probably seven or eight there at the start on one line. And what I'll do with that is I'll then add a small handful of casters like this. I'll put them in a tub and get a little tiny pole pot like that. I'll crush the casters up first so they make like a bit of a juice and then chop the lobworms quite roughly and that'll go in on one line to my left and normally fish to the left and to the right depends how much room you've got but just be sensible um, and then another thing I've had some success doing the last couple of years because everybody's feeding lobworms a lot down the middle or most anglers will any good canal anglers will um, you need something that's going to give you a little bit of an edge um, over them and just maybe catch you one extra fish in a match, which can be massively important, as we all know. And one thing I do like to do is to chop maggots up. And uh, put, I still put a couple of crushed casters in there, but on my other line, I will, I will chop mainly maggots, just put like two or three worms in it and a few crushed casters and that gives me another option. So I can put a lobworm over the top of that. You know, if there's a perch there, I can then uh, catch other species such as roach, skimmers, bream. Uh, you know, there's, there's all sorts of fishing canals these days and they don't always want one particular bait. So having two swims fed in two different ways gives you two options. I've had a lot of success with a maggot and chopping maggots up. Just think it releases a lot of attraction into the water and brings a fish around, you know, especially on hard days like it is today. It really can be a, a, good, a good, good little method. Okay, so when a boat goes through on a canal, um, a lot of the time it creates quite a lot of disturbance in the water. The key thing I have to look for when topping up is letting the water settle down um, before doing so. Normally I'm in a match situation, so I normally look at what other anglers do before I make a decision on topping up and use them to sort of your advantage if you like. So if you see, say, someone pot a load of bait in and they immediately catch over it, you know it's quite safe to feed. But at the same time, if somebody puts some bait in and they don't catch over it, you know, that can also be a good telling that they don't want bait on the red. So it's quite important to get it right. Um, regards top-ups, like I've put one of these at the start. It's a nice big ball of bread. But then to top up, that's the sort of size I'm using, just to sort of give you a bit of a gauge. All you're trying to do is regroup the fish that are there. That's all you're trying to do when you're topping up. So um, it's judging the right amount and you know, and where to put it basically is, is the, the key thing to get right. Okay, so when I'm uh, fishing for quality fish on canals, the two elastics I like to use nowadays. Um, first up is the uh, eight to 10 slick from Matrix. Brilliant elastic when you're targeting bigger quality fish down the middle on like lobworms and things. It's got, an, it's got a nice amount of stretch in it, but by putting it through like a meter section of pole, you, you're not giving the fish too much room to, you know, move around. Um, I set it quite pingy, um, it's got a little 
crow's foot on there and um, that's what I normally use for, for targeting better quality fish so you know albeit the, um, fishing against snags and things this is what I'll use nine times out of ten uh, for, fi for fishing like down the middle for big perch and skimmers and chub and things whatever comes along lovely elastic you got you get plenty of control with it just by putting it through a metre long section and it will tame even the biggest of fish I've had some really big fish out on this already so I'm really happy with that um, the next one is uh, the size down from the 8 to 10 which is the uh, 6 to 8 the orange again that is just through one section of uh, about a meter um, set pingy through there again with a little crow's foot on the end uh, and, a, and a little half a float stop to you know stop it from going back inside the tip and this one I like to use for um, like my maggot and caster fishing a little bit more refined you know you, you could say hook a roach on it a, a big roach or a skimmer or like even big perch but it's got enough backbone in it to tame better quality fish but yet you can still land your smaller sort of like ounce and half two ounce fish on it and you, you know you'll get some elastic come out it's very good for that um, plenty of stretch in it again but by putting it through just the one section you keep in control of the fish. Um, a lot of the canals nowadays, you know, um, you, there's not much room to ship back behind you and you know, the, you're fishing quite narrow. So just having it not through the full kit gives you plenty of control. So they're the two go-to elastics to use on canals for better quality fish. My go-to landing net for all my um, natural water fishing these days is the super light free flow net from Matrix. It's 45 centimeters, got a good little depth. You can get some big fish in there. It's very nice through the water when you go in a scoop fish. It's got like a coating on it that stops your barbed hooks getting caught as much as well, a fan. So when you're catching a lot of fish regularly, it, uh, it doesn't snag up as much and it doesn't slow you down brilliant bit of kit that I use for Ormond Canal, river fishing and even on winter commercials as well. <laughs> 